there needs to be a word for when you set low expectations or don't even have any expectations on something that you then get to experience unexpectedly that doesn't just surpass your low expectations. You end up falling in love with it. of the V8, the soundtrack from the back, and the supercharged whining up front is an all-encapsulating surround sound experience that the exhaust expert could only give a massive thumbs up to because in about five years time, I mean, we're saying it now, but in about five years time, we're gonna be saying about cars like these and performance cars in general that they just don't make them like they used to and this to me is the swan song of the SVR. <laughs> Welcome to the £78,000 2021 F-Pace SVR. We might not look like we're in the Highlands, but give it about 10 seconds and you'll see what I'm talking about because the roads out here are incredible. And this car has peaked at my all time favorite car that I've driven this year. And it comes down to a number of factors, but we go back to the beginning when I was talking about how low my expectations were or almost how they were non-existent about the F-Pace SVR because when the F-Pace came out, I didn't particularly like it. I preferred the E-Pace in terms of a shape and a package, which is partly why my girlfriend has one. But to me, the F-Pace didn't really do anything, and the F-Pace SVR felt like they had just wedged the classic five litre into the F-Pace. And I didn't particularly think it was revolutionary until this car came out. And what they have done to the facelift is improved it to the point where not only do I just not, never want to get out of it, but I actually want to buy one. And the interior plays a massive part of that, which I will get onto. The front end plays a massive part because it is so much more aggressive to the previous F-Pace. But the way that Jaguar have developed an SUV to perform like a performance car, all of these incremental changes to the original F-Pace SVR have made this car into an absolute monster that I believe at 80 grand is better than RS7. It's better than an RS6 in terms of value for money. And then you start competing against Bentaygas, Lamborghini Urises, Range Rover SVRs, and the Aston Martin DBX. And I'm sorry, but at 80 grand, value for money, pound for pound, why would you buy any of those? Because this is frighteningly quick. Jaguar have refined the F-Pace SVR very cleverly within the suspension and the ride quality, meaning that around corners, 
they've stiffened up the lateral roll but kept the compliance of any sort of vertical undulation so you still get that luxurious ride quality that you would expect from an SUV but then you put it around the corner and not only do the buckets keep you snug in your, in your seat but you you drive around the corner like you're in a sports car like you're in a supercar This is game changing. This elevates Jaguar and the F-Pace up to the Audis, the Mercedes, BMW and below Jaguar anyway in terms of interior quality. And they go up against the likes of Bentley and Tesla with the screens, but the right balance of buttons that you can touch and feel your way around. The important buttons are the ones that you can twist and touch whilst keeping your eye on the road. And the screen really is for the passenger, but I don't have one, and I'm still able to find my way around the screen whilst I drive. So Jaguar have nailed what I find so frustrating in modern cars. Either they're all screens, and you can't work out where you're going and navigate through the menus, or they're all buttons, which just feels a little bit dated. This is the perfect balance. I feel like Jaguar, have genuinely built this car for me <laughs> in every element of power sound styling spec by the way this is a bang on spec interior quality comfort i never want to get out of it actually the only thing that jaguar forgot about which isn't a bad compromise when you think about it is fuel economy all of that with a bloody spider spinning its web across my face. <laughs> I think the best way that I can summarize this car is if you're in the market for a fast and hilarious family car, I don't think you're going to find anything better than this. It is the sweet spot in size, speed, performance for the road whilst having all of the elements of being a practical daily driver and a very comfortable one at that. And I think the elevation of the interior that Jag have achieved with this car puts it into a bracket that this car really shouldn't sit at. And it ticks so many boxes. It's the most accomplished, most complete car I think you can buy for the price. And I think within the next 12 months, I'll own one of these the way that I'm going to finish this video. I just love it. <laughs> I will see you soon, guys. Take care. Enjoy. Let me know whether you've enjoyed this video and whether the F-Pace SVR really is an unsung hero that slips under the radar. An underrated, ultimate performance SUV. I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Goodbye.